Shiki in the minority. You're on the wrong side of history. I'm going to defend Shiki from the likes okay, of so you. I'm <laughs> curious to hear. Way. I'm curious to hear what Nick thinks about it. Cause well, I'm maybe curious to I'm... hear what you think. Okay, first of all, uh, okay, well, let, let's start at the, at the bottom. So now we're here. Yeah, like. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Anime Summit Podcast. We're back with Anime Summit. It's Spooktober. I want to suck your blood. I want to count the bats in the ceiling. Oh. Right? Spook. <laughs> count Dread. Count the Count. Count Chocula, dude. Fucking Count Chocula from uh, Sesame pa- Avenue. He's from Power Rangers, right? Yeah, Power Rangers. I think it was the second season of Power Rangers. Here's the thing. We are back with Spooktober. Anime Summit Spooktober. And we got another... Spoopy review for you, and later in the show we are going to review Shiki. Uh, but first, first things first, second things second, third things third. I'm Sam the Bomb, the Turkey Tom, of course, your favorite femtaku ever. Next to your first favorite femtaku, Danny. Hey guys. No, no tear, no drop, Club Nick. Happy fall, y'all. And uh, oh Kuga. <laughs> It's Friday, Friday. Is it Friday? Tuesday. Is it Friday where you oh, wait, live? It's Monday. You're like, <laughs> no, no, no. It's Monday because you're in Korea. That's creepy. That's crazy, dude. I know it's five day time difference. Five day time. Would that be like legit though? If our planet was like infinitely like, if it was like six times huger, probably that would be a thing, right? There'd be like a day. Well, no, it, right it was now flat, it, that would, that's how it worked, right? There, there's 26 <laughs> hours of time zones. Not only 24. So you could have three days occurring simultaneously. Well, every day that it switches over, you have three days occurring simultaneously. I don't understand uh, math, so. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you could have the Line Islands in Wednesday while Hawaii is still in Monday. I don't understand physics. That's, yeah. <laughs> Later, we're going to talk about Shiki. And, uh, the leaves are on the ground. Halloween is upon us. Spooky season is upon us. Anime summit. You can spooky. buy pumpkin stuff. You can buy pumpkin stuff now. Well, I mean, you could a couple pumpkin weeks ago. Pie. Pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin spice latte. One time, Trisha's uh, pumpkin pie. One time, Trisha's cousin made like this pumpkin pie, but instead of just pumpkin pie, it was like the pumpkin mixture. You know, it was cheesecake with the pumpkin. Oh, it was the oh, filling. Pumpkin cheesecake pie for pumpkin pie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so good. And you it actually made me like. It made me like regular pumpkin pie because I didn't like it before. Mm. Anyway. I want some now. Now, not only do the leaves falling down mean spoopy season, because after spoopy season, the leaves are still going to fall, and that means turkey season, which means I'm going to get fat. Going to put some gravy yeah. on it. In, in anyway. Korean, they call the uh, changing of the leaves dangpung. Dangpung. Oh, fuck, I always forget the... Do you guys eat turkey? The brownie also. No. I do. Oh, well, yeah. In general, <laughs> Korean does. Korea doesn't. <laughs> do they even have, uh, like, a form of, of thanks day? Well, they have Chuseok, which is in September of this year. And they just get all together mm, and make okay. kimchi. Mm. Make kimchi? That's kimchi. what's up. Kimchi. Okay, so anyway, so we do... Have some more iTunes reviews. Let's read them. Oops, I had them up on my. I must have scrolled down because of Quokka. We had four. Okay. We're each gonna read one. How okay, cool is they? that? No. How cool they? is oh, that, no. guys? Do we no. want to? Just... <laughs> okay, I'll go first. Oh, I see it. We should go from bottom to top. Bottom to top. I'll go first. Um, iTunes by five stars. Any ghost stories from USA? It's a great podcast. Love watching the love story of Danny and Nick unfold. The last two episodes, they haven't been on together. I wonder if Danny and Nick had a fight. If they did, I'm sure it, wa- it wasn't Nick's fault. Hashtag never wrong Nick. Stay awesome, Simon Quokka. I don't know who started that joke, but it's like really weird. Have, were, did you guys I have a fight? On, I think it was on YouTube or Spill something. Spill the beans, Danny. What'd you do? What are you talking What'd about? What'd you do to do make Nick yeah, mad Danny- at you? Danny didn't like. Didn't. She didn't like the gory hentai that I suggested. Okay. 
And that was sad? That made you sad, Nick? I took offense. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So, Danny, or no, Nick, read the next one. Uh, fantastic work by... Wait, by Mac. Wait, is this actually it's, just Mac? No, it's not. It's not. Oh, okay. Mac, no. I think somebody's commenting <laughs> on saying Mac is their favorite or something. I don't know. I started a new job about six months ago and needed an anime podcast, so I started listening to you guys. I love the rapport and relationships you guys have with each other. I also really enjoy the weekly topics you guys do. I love Nick, but the only thing that annoys me is how much he interrupts Sam and Danny when they're explaining something. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, you something, do Mac. Do that a lot. I have stuff to say, and I got to say it sometime, or else I'll get trampled by Sam and Danny. So but I'll keep that in mind, though. Get wrecked. All right, cool. I think it's more of the opposite. No, now it's Danny. The opposite. Oh, Danny needs this one. Okay. Thank you guys for your reviews. <sighs> Especially not saying yeah. anything mean about me or Sam. <laughs> 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 All right, Danny, go. <laughs> oh, I don't even know how to pronounce this this guy's name. Jer Bear. It's the Jer Bear. Oh, Jer Bear. Wait, what? Well, oh, yeah. Jer Bear Swag said great podcast. Insightful, good discussions, and fun chatting between hosts. Great podcast minus Danny. <laughs> <laughs> we all have to read our own shame. Like... <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> it's like how cool they gave Nick it five stars, it. though. So you're not, you know, you're not bad. Right? Yeah, you're doing to, some, right? You know, <laughs> I, 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 I guess. Danny, you're at least replacement level. There you go. You know, you're not. A bad <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! Okay, I see the love. All right, Coker, he's the last. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a great podcast. Great host by Ricks with Snorlax. Relax with Snorlax. Relax with Snorlax. Oh, I can yeah. see if that was an L. Oh, probably character limit. Relax with Snorlax from USA. <laughs> Love to listen to these dudes talk about anime. Even though their opinions may differ than mine, it's still enjoyable to hear what other people think about a show. Cough, cough, darling in the Franks. Great to listen to while doing homework. But most of the time I practice guitar while listening to them. Only problem I find with the podcast is I listen to it more than I watch anime. Now I guess to have some fun, I'll describe the host using emojis. Psalm. Black OK. Black smiley. Black peace sign. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Danny. Yellow OK. Yellow open mouth smiley. Hang 10. Yellow hang. Hang 10. Hang loose. Yeah, hang 10. Yeah, Nick, hang loose. Uh, Thumbs up. Finger middle, pointing up. Middle finger. Is that middle, middle finger? finger? <laughs> Middle or is finger. It just, yeah, it's a pointer finger, but people finger. use it as a middle finger. Whatever. Middle finger, poop, thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> Quoka, okay sign, bread, thumbs up. Bread. No, what dude, the it's, not just, bread? it's not just bread, it's white bread. Get oh, white it. bread. <laughs> okay. Because he's a white bread. I don't, do they have he's other choices of bread guy. when you do emojis? I don't know. They have rye. <laughs> please <laughs> please, just add please rye keep making more of these podcasts. Save me from the boredom. Praying hands. So I'm actually not African American, but I am brown. A You're little bit. racially so, ambiguously brown. Sam I'm racially ambiguously brown. Look, Sam, as a Mexican, you could pass for any race. It's a fact. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Uh, earlier, I was talking yes, to. Yes, as a Cambodian. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you can Discord, always play the race card. <laughs> on Discord, somebody was like, we were talking about like what we were or whatever, and Cole was like, I was like, oh well, yeah, because I'm look, we Mexicans don't fool around with you know this this you know mexican folklore shit and then cole goes just like sam you can't just claim every brown like heritage or race every time like one comes up oh yeah that was funny <laughs> <laughs> no I, I am half mexican half thai though for real um for now for now until i claim something else uh so until i claim samoan when that comes up uh dude here's the thing thank you for those reviews they're really fun to read on the show shout out to J bear swag mac with a smiley face uh, any ghost stories and relax with Snorlax. Shout out to Relax with Snorlax. He's in the manga book club. The dude's never yeah. seen Akira. He's just reading it right now. Yep. And a lot of the time, what the more so, common thing is like to watch the movie mm. first and then read it. So. Oh, if you want to leave a review, um, you got to do it through iTunes because that's like the podcast review thing. I don't really know of what else is popular for podcast reviews. Right. That's a part of the market that hasn't quite been filled yet. Sure, yeah. Uh, but uh, you just go to iTunes.AnimeSummit.net. 
leave that review. I don't remember if you actually have to install iTunes or not, which is probably a killer for most people. But well, yeah, I mean, if you got an iPhone too, then you can just do it from there too. If you rock yeah, the iPhone, but like, do we really want? I'm those pretty sure kinds of people. I... <laughs> those kinds of people. <laughs> I think uh, well, yeah, sure, like, have iTunes, Google so. Play. <laughs> yeah. Or I'm pretty sure Google Play has like some sort of review. Uh, forum, yeah, I'm sure Google Podcast maybe. has, yeah. That's we can put point. ourselves on Yelp. Just go on Yelp. Uh <laughs> terrible terrible atmosphere, terrible wine. Don't ever want to go there. Uh the service was a little slow. <laughs> um anyway <laughs> They didn't refill my water. And they didn't refill my water. Anyway, um, so that being said, there's that. And then one more thing. For a manga book club this weekend, we're actually reading Tomoe or Tomie. Tomoe. For Tomoe. uh by Junji Ito for the manga book club this weekend in honor of Anime Summit Spooktober. So we're putting we just finished volume three of Akira and we're putting that on hold. And then we're gonna do this. And then for this weekend or this next meeting, uh that is October twenty eighth. Okay, so a couple days from now. Um we're just going to read that because it's one of the many Junjo Ito stories that, you know, they're just a one-off. You just read it and um, mm-hmm. whatever. And then we'll get back to Akira weeks after. So if you want to do that, hit me up. Also, too, I should I should remind – because I didn't tell people this until today. If you – if we're reading a book currently and you don't want to be tagged when we make announcements and tag people with the Manga Book Club role, tell me and I'll take it away from you and then I can give it back to you whenever you want. Um because I don't know if you can, like, mute roles and stuff if you have it. I don't remember how that works. But anyway, I'll take it away from you if you don't want to get tagged. Just block Danny and some. It's just block no Danny problem. and some. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, sure. let's move on to the – oh, links.animesummit.net. You'll find everything there. Go there. You should follow us and all that good nonsense. Actually, if you look in the link, the YouTube descriptions of uh, our of our shit on YouTube – you can find uh, everything there too. So, uh, anyway, let's go on to Waifu and his bando for Shiki. Uh, for Waifu, someone put Ritsuko. I actually agree. Yeah, I did that. I'm so oh, bad okay. with character names. She's, Which one was Ritsuko? She's she the pink haired girl? She, she's a pink haired girl. No, she was Why the, wasn't she's it? the green haired girl. The she was girl. the nurse. She was the nurse. Wait, with the Midori, with the Midori has green hair. hair. Dude, they all have scribble hair, Quoka. We, you got to specify. <laughs> Uh-huh. She's the nurse, but the the, when she turned, oh, when she founder, turned, founder. she didn't drink. She didn't drink blood. Are you sure you guys don't like the the uh, wide haired clown looking lady? You know what I'm saying? What? No, it's okay. Takai Ozaki. There you go. Uh, her hair doesn't. Even, her hair doesn't even fit on her portrait. You need you need landscape style to fit her hair. <laughs> His bando. Uh, we put the uh, uh, the doctor. The fucking the only guy. half decent character, the only character who <laughs> no, was like smart no, enough. No, the monk guy was kind of okay. No, he. Was I like stupid. the little girl too. You know, Sudoku. Oh, don't don't clip that sound bite out. Someone's gonna clear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a list. <laughs> I do like... Sudoku. What her really? her English voice actress was great. Me, Jeremy Lay. What nice was job. Her, what was what was the pink? hair girl's name i liked her when she was alive but then she died it was for like an episode Megumi. she was alive <laughs> Megumi. Megumi. Yeah. yeah that was the only part of the show that i liked yeah i liked episode her too one. but then she died dude I just, was, uh, I just think it's kind of ridiculous how uh she's supposed to be like 15 but they draw her with really big boobs. huge very, a very well-developed body angie verona-esque one and might then say. she's just she's just like foaming when she just thinks about like guys from the city yeah, <laughs> that's what they call it she when girls just, get turned on. You call it foaming. <laughs> they're f- she was foaming at the gash. Okay. It, oh if God! They're not, <laughs> if they're not careful, girls have to wear uh, long pants at all times because they start foaming. <laughs> God, you guys. She okay. was leaving a slug trail up to him. Stay Shut true. Up. Okay. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> All right, that's enough now. Well, Koki, you have to add. You got to add like three years to every char- anime character's age because they age everyone down. <laughs> like yeah. the I, like the Cabinary girl is like twelve. <laughs> She's definitely at least fifteen. Anyway, off topic. Uh, anyway, Shiki. Shiki. So uh, this was an anime made in two thousand and ten, 
It ran yeah. from July 2010 to December 2010. Um, uh, producers were Anaplex, Dentsu, whatever. Um, I'm trying to find the studio. Oh, Dame. Here we go. Studio Dame. Yeah, they, they've only made like a couple of things. They made Shiki and, uh, and they made Yuri Yuri. And uh, only guy teacher. They and... made Deers. Oh, they made they made uh they made Cosette that we reviewed last time. Cosette is actually fucking cool. I, I just wish Le it wasn't so out there. Le Petit Petit. Other than that, they haven't done a lot though. They've only done a few. Oh, they did. They did Police Teacher and Only Guy Twins. Yeah. Yeah, but that's that's about it actually. So yeah, Shiki though. So in Deers Studio Duame. I read Deers. I never watched it. Um. But yeah. Anyway, and it is based off of a novel by the creator of the name where I just had his name up. God damn it! Here we go. Ba 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 ba. Okay, I, okay. Ryu Fujisaki is the original creator of the story. So, got that, that out the there. Character in uh, Street Fighter. I believe who? so. Yes. Wait, who? <laughs> <Yeah>. No. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, the anime was directed by Tetsuro Amino, who also did a bunch of other stuff. But oh, so he he did some. Nope, a lot of things that are not <laughs> like large. Oh no, he did Macross Seven. Okay. And okay. Well, some, anyway, and some Mobile Suit Gundam and a bunch of other stuff. So yeah. Anyway. Okay. Shiki. Anyway, Shiki. It's uh, you know Nick wanted us to rate it because it's, it's spoopy season. It's anime seven Spooptober. It's rated pretty high on Mal. Um. Super high. Uh, seven point nine. It's pretty that's good. That's not th- that's not that high. It's its popularity is pretty high. It's one. It's, it's number one hundred eighty two as of this recording. Top so top two hundred. Yeah. The, the ranking is like seven hundred, which is like whatever you know. But hey, you know. Popularity. So yeah, here we go. So Nick, if you want to give it a is one of the and now few. begins our three hour thesis on why three all those people are wrong later. <laughs> so look, Nick, if the you reason we pick Shiki is because. This is the kind of the go-to horror anime recommendation. Like when people are like, "Oh, what horror anime should I watch?" and everyone's just like, "Well, you got to watch Higurashi, you got to watch Shiki, you got to watch, you know, Perfect Blue, you know, a couple other things, Legend of the Overfiend perhaps." Um, but yeah, Shiki, it's one of the big ones. So we picked that what? for this time. What was the question, Sam? Oh, no, then go ahead. I'll say my thought after. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. Oh, that's I'm just saying the reason we picked it. Uh, it's very popular and uh, critically acclaimed horror anime specifically. So a lot of people say that it's like really hard to do horror well, especially in anime because you got that like you got that extra layer between you and and like between reality and fiction and all that because like you know with real life horror it's you can you can kind of suspend your disbelief and be like scared from it, but in anime it's a lot harder to be scared just because it's a cartoon um, and Overall, I would say Shiki. Like, before we get into it, I, I don't think Shiki was too scary as a as a show, but it was definitely in the horror realm. So, definitely a good Halloween type show that everyone should check out if you're an anime fan. Um, but yeah, other than that, the basic gist of Shiki is it's a 24 episode anime. Um, well, there's 22 plus two OVAs, which are necessary for the story. Um, and the basic idea is that there is a small village um, in in you know in the in Sat- Sotoba, where the somewhere in Japan. Yeah, it's in Japan. There's a there's basically what happens is there is an epidemic that breaks out where people become anemic, they get sick, and they die quickly. And the first half of the show, give or take, is the doctor. Uh, Toshio Ozaki trying to figure out the cause of this and the villagers trying to figure it out and you get these creepy moments and you know you find out there's these these like uh, people with these hollowed out black eyes they're kind of like vampires and the audience learns that and and uh, finally kind of like vampires or just vampires they're basically literally vampires (laughs) um (laughs) But yeah, the, so the vampires are the cause of the epidemic. They bite people, the people die, they turn into vampires, and they bolster their ranks. And they're kind of the vampires are trying to live in this this um, this uh, far out village because it helps. It's easier for them to survive there than it is in like the big city. So they're trying to kind of harvest this town for their their own livelihood. And at the you know part way through, they figure it out. The doctor shows to the townsfolk. And the townsfolk turn against 
the vampires and start hunting them down. And then that's like kind of the final arc of the series. And then it's, it, it all just turns into a shit show and like a violence fest. Everything's on fire. It's kind of a, the basic idea is to show like, you know, human nature, how people are, uh, can be monsters regard, you know, can turn into monsters or start as monsters. And it's, you know, kind of showing the darkness about people a little bit. So yeah, that's kind of the basic idea of it. By just having vampires? Yeah, yeah. It's creepy, man. I don't know, man. I think it's just because they wanted to have vampires. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wasn't, cool, it wasn't, about, like, it wasn't you know, about, like, showing off the human nature. So what I was going to say, what I was going to say, <laughs> what I was going to say earlier is, like, why not, you were saying people, this is, like, the go-to recommendation. Why not, Those people have never obviously seen, like, you know, Sin or Blood Sea or... Those are other recommendations too, but Shiki is one of the top ones just because of the story is stronger than most horror anime. Oh, okay. So I the story so. itself. Now, the characters, that's another thing. I know you guys don't like the characters. But we'll get so into unlikable. That. They were very unlikable. You guys don't like... I didn't like... You guys, you guys don't no. like the skinny dude? <laughs> it's like a whining baby. No. I'm, I'm no. curious to hear. Gonna, you're gonna hate me, so now I'm gonna dedicate my life to making sure you hate so, me. I just gotta say, <laughs> Dude, what is that guy's name? I gotta find. I just him. gotta say oh something. Toru. Okay, I, I, I really, no, 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 his I name really, is Maso no, Mur- Murasako. Ma- oh, Maso. Yeah, Maso Murasako <laughs> was, was such annoying a piece of as shit. fuck. I really just gotta so preface annoying. this though. Okay, I really gotta. Oh, sorry, Sam. I really gotta say this because. Because a, a lot of a lot of it seems like people think that we just shit on Nick just to shit on him. I did not – I like – because I, I did try to watch this, and I did watch it. You know, we, me and Danny, we all watched it. So, like, yeah. it wasn't like – It's <laughs> Nick has recommended me amazing things, okay? This is nothing – Well, this wasn't, this wasn't a recommendation for you, Son. This was a Halloween recommendation. No, it's fine. I'm just saying that, you know, because me and Danny and possibly Koka didn't enjoy it, it's not a shit on Nick thing. I think people say that a lot, and that's not the case. And I just want to say that yeah. before we shit on Nick for the next yeah. twenty minutes. Like Nick, does have good ta- <laughs> Nick does have good taste. I had never seen sometimes. this either. Occasionally, by the way, so <laughs> yeah, I, I can't, yeah, Nick re- never I can't recommend so it Nick, if I'd never seen it. Nick, just make sure you agree with us, and we can all shit on it together. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, dude, you guys are gonna be in the minority. You're on the wrong side of history. I'm gonna defend Shiki from the likes okay, of so you. I'm <laughs> curious to hear. Why. I'm curious to hear what Nick thinks about it. Cause well, I'm maybe curious to I'm hear just... what you think. Okay, first of all, uh, okay, well, let, let's start at the, at the bottom. So Now we're here. Yeah, like, what did you guys think of, like, the basic premise of it? It's you know what? It's you know what it felt? I, you know what? It felt like it, it felt like it could have been a story for, like, Castlevania or something. And that's probably why I kind of enjoyed it a little bit. But, like, It's just the, the most, story... like, basic, uninspired way to do such a story. I like the fact that there's a bit of a moral dilemma between because like okay like in The Walking Dead you know they're zombies they're they're walkers like they don't have emotion they don't have emotion they don't have anything they were once human but they're not anymore okay so just kill them well the zombies don't have characters so they gotta have people fight each other and talk in this in this case well no that's not what I mean what I mean is the risen or the the walking dead in this case they have all of their memories and shit still so it's like there's like a moral dilemma of like they have personality yeah they still have their memories and shit like that so i kind of like that because then it's kind of like oh what the fuck what do i do you know am i am i a murderer if i if i kill this person yeah yeah because they they have to feed on blood yeah. yeah, yeah. There were some hesitation in certain in certain characters, you which know, is when, why that SDF when... should have come in. Why are the townspeople <laughs> fighting the yeah, vampires? Wh- where's Rory Mercury? <laughs> where's Rory Mercury when you need her? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I like that. Um, and you know what? Maybe I don't. I don't think that the story is basic, but maybe. It might have came off that way to Koka because the characters were not likable or the, the characters were dumb. You can't have a good story if the characters are bad. Yeah. yeah you can. You there can have were, a good story. There was, well, okay, no, no yeah. There but was the, definitely it, a lot of problems. The story can't be told well if the characters them. are bad. 
Well, it can still be told well. It just you're just not going to empathize with the characters as much. Yeah, but even then, the story isn't. No, the story itself was pretty well written. I thought. People you come had... in, they start eating people. They turn into vampires. The people turn against the vampires. Is there any okay, significant if... plot points that aren't I think being you're... covered? You can you can say that about anything though. You can oversimplify. Yeah, I, was gonna say, I think you're oversimplifying. I know, but I'm just like, what what really is in there that makes it like the, uh, what, what's what's the, the part of the story? So uh, we're, so we're looking. What's, what's what? the monk guy's name? I gotta find his name. I'm so bad with names. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, Murai Sation. Yeah, Sation. Murai Sation. Yeah, he's he's kind of one of the uh, like the moral compass, basically, because. It's kind of like this weird thing where he, his story kind of reflects what's happening in the village. His his book, he's like an author who writes novels. Mm-hmm. And um, so actually I think it's, it's a weird thing where like his story just literally is the story. <laughs> um, and makes you wonder if like, oh, maybe this is from his perspective, the whole thing. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of a, that's kind of a deeper plot line to the story quoka there so it's not super basic that's okay. one part basic plus and then, and then the doctor has to you know he has to figure out what's going on with the villagers he's got to make all these calls it's like oh uh should the you know should the villager come to the clinic right away or should i let them but stay at home i gotta yell at him dub or sub i watched the dub i watched, the dub. I watched I had a really good dub actually i watched the man, dub and then i watched a little bit of the sub because i wanted to hear those like medical scenes in the dub are so cringy yeah <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> like the, like all these just doctors and nurses sitting around talking about what it might be it's like oh so you had he had multiple organ failure like mof but also sometimes they call it this <laughs> yeah. well, that's how you know they're a doctor you what are you put a in that jargon. fucking intern i'm like what the f- <laughs> nurses know stuff <laughs> yeah, but they can just know things. They don't have to explain. They have to put it. Uh, <laughs> well, like put a, no, because you don't have to put a question into it. Yeah, you do. Because well, one, you got exposition, and you got to build up that tension. And two, in the medical field, you, you got to be like precise. You know, like when they're doing surgery on your on your fucking leg, they put they like draw a marker on like which leg they're operating on because <laughs> they don't want to do the wrong one because they do that shit. Yeah, but just saying multiple organ failure totally solves that problem. I don't. I don't know. I'm not a fucking doctor. I don't know what you're. I don't know. I'm not a fucking about. doctor. I don't know what you're complaining about. Um, I also listened to the sub a little bit. I watched a couple episodes and sub because I wanted to hear uh, Seishiro Kirishiki's voice because he's played by Gact, and Gact is one of my favorites. He's hot. What did he sound like? Gact sounds amazing. He sounds like he's like a very effeminate visual K artist. Mm. So like, it was, it was perfect for that role because. You know, Kirishiki and Kirishiki is pretty like, oh, look at me and my yeah. dapperness and tea. Yeah. I like to drink tea a lot. Mm. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like a Pegasus from Yu Gi Oh! Oh, what yeah, kind of cards yeah, yeah. do you have in your hand, Yu Gi Boy? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Yugi right through boy. your hand, Yu Gi Boy. Like, I gag should do Pegasus sub. Vo- like Japanese voice. So if if that, not, we should re-re- should re-record it and do it. <laughs> um, I did think it was funny how the uh, the son of the what is it the bar the guy with the crazy large beard. Oh, the old man. Yeah, the yeah. angry old man. The son of him yeah. was was voiced by Hercule <laughs> from Dragon yeah, Ball Z. Yeah, it, it was really weird. It was so like, stop dumb. bullying Hercule. <laughs> the crazy large beard. <laughs> Dude, what is that guy's name? Holy shit. He's a G. Tom, anyway. It's not Tomio. Well, you should know because they tell you the name of every single character the moment they show up on screen. Yeah, well, Legend of Galactic Hero style. They got to put that nameplate there so you know who they are. There's, There's a, a lot of characters. Play. It's a whole village. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. Tomio right. Okawa. There we go. That was Tomio another Okawa. thing that kind of bothered me a little bit. You know, there was there was too many plot holes and there was just way too many, like, side characters. What do you mean plot holes? It, it was so... In certain certain parts of the episodes, um, for example, where is it? Um, it's vampire mind control, Danny. Where, that solves everything. No, it's, yeah, sure. It's the kiosk. No, there was They're one all with like, there was one with the with the little brother who was about to go kill a vampire because 
they they like turned um the main character i forgot his name into a vampire and and like he got kidnapped by uh you mean the, the, like, the doctor cat main character man no not the doctor the the teenager oh uh yep 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 i know his name um yeah not suno i think i think that's his name but um the little kid who was who was voiced by lucy christensen um oh that solves it like he got is he the kid he with the ears magically... the kid with the sister and he had ears yeah yeah we're cat. being real specific <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cat ears. He got like, he got like kidnapped, and then you know the that like old man vampire was about to like eat him or something like like kill him and stuff, and it just cut to like the bandages not being there or whatever, and you never knew what happened to him until the very end where he's magically in the hospital with his sister. It's like what the fuck happens? Vampire that? mind control, Danny. It, no. It's... Like, no, stupid. It was dumb. It didn't make sense. It really didn't make sense to me. Made so. sense to me. I don't Were know. there more situations like that with you when you watched it? I, yeah. I didn't even think um, about that until you said it There just was now. another one with, um, what's her name? What is, what is her hair? <laughs> that, she had red, like, like burgundy. Oh, here it is. Uh, Yono uh, Kanami. She was like the owner of that restaurant with her gr- with her mom, and her mom got turned, and she was like hiding her and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, um, there's so many side stories in this. That's the that's the crazy. That's part. what I'm saying. Like there was just of. too. It was so. There was just so much going on that you know. I I feel like that's why this show had such. lackluster with their characters because there were so many characters to follow and they each had their own story Uh and i i kind of feel like this show would have been a lot better if it was a longer show like i feel like 20 i feel like what was it uh it was 20 it was 24 total plus yeah 24 you know those twenty four episodes. I feel like wasn't enough for an entire. So that the village, characters you know? could be less one dimensional, like single trait yeah. characters. Yeah. 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 No, I don't know. You know? They weren't that one dimensional. Most of them, except for the except for the whiny guy Masao. No, most whiny of them guy. were pretty much just like here's their trait. I guess yeah, the, the angry old man. Was he's too. generous. <laughs> he's angry like that. <laughs> Well, the, the point was it's showing like, you yeah, that it's showing you how the the whole village is interconnected with all their little stories going on. No, I well, I understand that, but at the same time, you know, you throw all these characters into one show that is only like 24, 24 episodes long. You know, each of those each the each of those characters have their own story, and it was nice. It was nice and an uh of them to add those two specials about um two different characters you know i actually enjoyed those two uh those two specials because it showed you know what was going on in their minds like throughout this whole chaotic thing that was happening in their village yeah so like that was very that was good so that i feel like they they could have done that with with certain characters that they they felt more important, so it could have been a longer show. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Instead of going to uh, flashbacks. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the flashbacks it's not just like jumping to the next thing much. constantly. Yeah, exactly. It's like okay, what the fuck happens? You know? Who did this? Who are you yeah. people? Who are you? Um. Oh, the thing I is, like, we, the audience knows the whole time who it is. It's the people with the with the completely I black don't know. eyes. I mean, I didn't. <laughs> how, I, how do I, my question is how do the uh, main how do the villagers not recognize the shiki? Because they have completely hollowed out black eyes. That was my next point. <laughs> was just like what? That's took just the style. In, but well, this is no, like she just oh, has yeah, sure. really heavy eyeshadow and keeps her eyes closed all the time. But <laughs> yeah, but like no, like in the beginning. And th- and what Nick said is probably one of the reasons why. In the beginning, it was really slow, and it even was to a point where I was bitching to Danny about not wanting to watch it. And then yeah, I remember. And then Danny was like, "Just watch it," and I was like, <laughs> "I don't want to." Uh, well, and uh, she's like, "Then don't be on the app if you don't want to." And I was like, "No, I'm not going to do that because I've been on almost every, so I'll watch it." But 
like what what takes you like one or two episodes to figure out takes them like seven. And it's just like so annoying. That's another reason why yeah, maybe which the is why aren't... which is why it could have even been shorter. Is why I was surprised that Danny wanted it longer. Maybe it should have been one or the one or the other then, because like, I don't know. But yeah, no, that was uh, that was super annoying. And like, I wouldn't have. I actually wouldn't have minded if like the purple haired guy, what's his name, Yuki Natsuno, Natsuno Yuki. He's stupid. He should just. Not... He was cool. He was cool in the beginning. It should have just been the doctor and the priest guy. That those two guys would have would have wrecked shop if they were just like the main guys. Yeah. And then this guy is just like hot headed, and he's just like, Ugh, let's. Yeah, it, it could be the thing stupid. where you combine you combine multiple characters into one character, so you have like there's, you know, one character does the work of two for like yeah, oh it's yeah. like oh he's gonna go attack them well let's just combine him with the other guy. That way you have fewer characters. But it's all village. That's the thing. So you need you need a bunch of them. Um, I agree. Yeah, like the beginning was a little bit was a little bit longer than it needed to be, or at least the the way it was written. Would have been kind of right. nice if they had like uh, more of a maybe a little bit more of like a background to the Shiki like during the beginning, like kind of spliced in between. That might have been good. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I know they did do some of that in the show, but not they, it wasn't quite they, enough. I think. They definitely dra- they dragged on certain stories that were really unnecessary. Right. Yeah. Like, what? Which, which ones do you have in mind? Um. Because I really like the story between uh, Sunako and uh, Seishin, or M- Moroi and. Yeah, Sunico. I liked their I liked their moments. You know, their moments were interesting. Because she's like a hundred year old um, lolly vampire, and he's like this author, and she's like, "I'm a fan of your books." And then she bites him, and he's like, "Her pawn." You know, and then it's, mm-hmm. it's pretty great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like every every little conversation they had was cool. I don't know. I feel like I feel like the the moments with with Yuki were kind of unimportant, to be quite honest. I I really think he didn't have to be there. You could combine him with the doctor because they look basically the same. <laughs> yeah, but then again, but then again, even the doctor was annoying. Well, yeah, he, was, nah, he wasn't that annoying. He was fine. I didn't think he was that bad. He was he was one of the only like rounded, reasonable characters. He was just like angry and and upset at like Everything. the villagers' stupidity. Everything, yeah. Wow. Because the people because well, people weren't bringing in their they weren't bringing in their family soon enough to get checked out, and then they like wouldn't bring them to the hospital. But then like part of that was because the the shiki were controlling them and like making them mm-hmm. like setting up their own like shiki clinic no. and. Yeah, 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 and they're like, "Oh no, don't don't go to the hospital or whatever." They were making their own community, practically. Yeah, that was the idea. That's why. Yeah. And the funny thing is, like, the Shiki weren't even necessarily evil; they were just trying to survive. And then at the same time, so were the villagers. And in order to, it, there's like a scene in the near the end of the show where they're the villagers are hunt, hunting the Shiki in like the in one of the uh, like aqueducts or whatever, one of the pipes. And they're like, in order mm-hmm. to to defeat the demons, we have to become the demons, <laughs> and they did. Yeah. So like the villagers, you know, they got the the pitchforks and and like lights and torches and like the whole mob mentality thing went going on. It's like, oh, the men will will stab them with stakes and kill them, and the women will carry the bodies away and bury them. They had like a whole assembly line of it. Right. So not to completely like, switch gears here, but I'm gonna the freaking art style bothered me really bad oh my god thank you i was about to say that like what do you mean what do you mean like the character design terrible oh yeah it was terrible no, i like the character was, designs those were awesome yeah. it was an eyesore no was way really no I, I like the yeah. character designs no. i like the hair mostly the hair was the great hair was so the hair is the hair is like and the eyeballs for the shiki that was great eyeballs and i don't hair? Give me I, okay that. those two things those are the two things i didn't mind what I did mind, though, is, like, okay, so it's common practice in, like, most anime or all of them that depending on the character and where they stand on the show and who the character is, that their eyes may look different than some of the main characters. For instance, yes, like, for instance, like, in Food Wars, um, most of the main characters have have a similar set of eyes. Um, 
the beefier characters, like the like the beefcake guys, the big, strong, young, loud guys, they have a little bit smaller eyes. Mm-hmm. And then um, uh, uh, the one chick of the Elite Ten Arena, I always forget all their names, her grandpa. Her grandpa, um, he's an old man, and he's like a beefy character, so naturally he's got different styled eyes than, you yeah, know, because depending on who... Yeah, the, depending on who you are and where your stance is in the show, that, that that's common. Whatever. This is not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is, for example, Yuki Natsuno, purple-haired bitch, and the hot so nurse. Angry? The hot nurse that we chose. Yeah, he always looks pit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Um, and then the hot nurse. In my opinion, they have like, there's a scene with them together where they were walking, and uh. In my opinion, they uh, obviously he's a main character and she's just like a supporting. She, but it wasn't just that; it was, it was all of the female characters who were around her age, or whatever, had these taller looking drawn eyes. But then you look at people like Yuki or Ozaki, Ozaki and they have round pupils with smaller eyes, and it's like. They're, and pointy chins. All of them had pointy chins. And they're both like it's like they're both young characters with colorful hair. Why don't you just do their eyes the same? Mm-hmm. Like it looks like it it looks fucking weird. It was throwing me off. So like if you look at like Ozaki and Yuki, they both have um more uh angrier close more closed eyes with round pupils. And then you look at like Megumi the pink-haired girl in the beginning, or, or Ritsuko, the nurse, their eyes are ta- just as wide but taller with l- taller pupils. And that, to me, just looked straight up like it was just two different styles happening like horse at one eyeballs. time. Yeah. It just looked like it was two different styles happening at one time, and it really threw me off. And then the well, Masa with his pinpoint dots in the middle of big oceans of white. Oh yeah. Well, that's it's, how you could tell it, they yeah. were uh, turned into the shiki ponds, right? When they Which had the, the red one? beady eyes whenever the villagers got bitten. Yeah. Y- yeah. Well, but the uh, like Megumi had she had she just had she had her regular um you know eyes and she just had red. You know, she had eyes. Okay, but, so like, Okay, so uh, didn't. let's 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 move on from the eyes. Like we understand you guys didn't enjoy that. So what we what hate else? Eyeballs. Was, Remove them. I just don't want to get lost in the weeds there. What what else were you th- were your thoughts on that, Sam? Not the eyes. Moving on from that. Well, I was gonna say that M- Masal, I think, is a different case. I think his eyes are supposed to look like that because of whatever. But anyway, uh, we don't want to make Nick angry by talking, so we should just. <laughs> well, you've made your point. Uh, we don't need to spend ten minutes talking about eyeballs. It's not. <laughs> we do though because it was the only anime I've seen where it does it. It just throws me off. <laughs> okay. It's well, I, I understand. I get it. Okay. Next All right. T- fine. Next point, Sam. What else do you have? All right, Aaron. Don't talk anyone. We're gonna make Nick mad. All right. Eyeballs three out of ten. Yeah, the animation <laughs> style was not even any better. Okay. Well, uh, the animation it, was okay. It was. It wasn't like. There wasn't super enough. Great. Like, it was fine. And all. The animation honestly, was. Well, there was just cool. there was blood. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the, the animation blood, was like but average. They, but you didn't see but. like. But you didn't see like brains or like guts. Or I thought people like were gonna. That. Yeah, because like, with TV anime, apart. you're not. Were they allowed to put put that on TV? I don't know. You can only do so much with like TV anime. The only thing that was like pretty gory was when Megumi got her head crushed by the tractor. Like, um, every time someone got killed or whatever, or like their head chopped off, they would they would cut to a next scene. And it's like, come on, I want to see that. <laughs> You're a sick fuck, Danny. <laughs> What? I'm just kidding. Wait, wait. And you didn't like Legend of the Overfeed? I didn't watch it. Oh, I thought you started. Okay, well, it. I think you probably like that because no. that show has a lot of that. No, a don't. lot. She won't like <laughs> no, that's like I'm, the whole I'm movie. I'm okay. I already listened to the episode last for last week. The and whole I'm movie okay. is just gore and sex. Anyway, I'm back to Shiki. Fine. I'm. I much rather watch Devil Man Cry Baby all over again than Legend of the Overfeed. And she can't combine. At least Devil Man Crybaby was good. <laughs> well, that's a hot take there. Anyway. <laughs> hot take. Moving on from that to... Okay. So the eyes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 uh, 
No, uh, but anyway, yeah, no. A lot of anime I like from, the... like, 2008 oh. to 2010. Like, I didn't mm. watch any of that. That's probably why I stopped watching anime for a while, because it's just a bunch of... Well, that was the, uh, that I, was the I recession. I like the soundtrack. So. What, what was that, Danny? I like the soundtrack. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to mention. Yeah, the music, the music was, was pretty, really the, good. That's, like, standalone level. The music was pretty level. solid. Like, you could put that yeah. on without even watching the show, and it's good. Especially, like, dude, that, put that on when, when somebody's walking into the room. Put on, like, the little girl going, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> like, do that shit. Put that, that just That would that. freak, that'd be a little, that'd yeah. freak me out. They, de- like, the, the music definitely did its job to keep it, you know, creepy and scary and stuff. But uh, that's all that they had, really, that was actually enjoyable. No, it had really good uh, voice acting, good music, um, good hairstyles. That had a strong story, I would say. The characters themselves were weaker. I'll agree with that. Well, they weren't, they weren't weaker. Most of them were kind of a little bit just like Some not likable. Some of them likeable. were unnecessary. Yeah, a li- little bit too many of them, and then most of them were, were pretty <laughs> like shitty people. So, you know, but that's that's the that was part of the message of the show, though. They were showing that people could be could be horrible. So especially if they're trying to survive and trying to protect their own way of life and all that. Then it's like they got to turn into these monsters to, you know, to survive and all that. I feel like, but I don't know. I don't, I wouldn't say that Shiki had, had a good story, storytelling of, you know, humans can be bad as well. I feel like um, Crybaby did a lot of, a, a lot better job at, Humans being evil. Uh, I, th- I think Dan, they're you kind can't of compare comparable. that. That's a new show, and we all know new shows are just better. That's true. They have higher mal rankings, Danny. It's fact. <laughs> <laughs> People are just better at writing and drawing, and just generally making entertaining media. Here's the thing about Devil Man Crybaby too: is that the eyes in that one were drawn really well. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Well, look, this is like this is kind of like uh, Shinsekai Yori a little bit if you think about it. I like the eyes on that one too. Um, yeah, thank you, Sam. I like your eyes, Sam. <laughs> thank you. But you know, we 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 sh- could probably agree that Shinsekai Yori is better than Shiki. Are you guys gonna? Uh, yeah, I, def- I definitely could. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's it's going for similar themes as Shiki, I would say, to show that like even Fate Stay Night, like the village and 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 the mob mentality can can lead to horrific acts and everything, and people are trying to survive. I've said that a million yeah, times. Yeah, I agree. Um, but I agree with that. Statement. Look, Shiki's got these crazy hairstyles, man. What else? What, <laughs> that's a, that's worth at least a point right there on a ten point score. That's that's a full point. So what did we all? What are what are our final what are our final impressions on this? Before we talk about um, eyeballs more, so I really like the ending, like that little last scene. Anyway, ex- explain that last scene to me, because I saw it and then like I looked away and I rewound it and watched it again. I'm like, wait, what the fuck's going on here? So like, the villagers are, are you know, they're are they, were, were they like cheeky that were escaping? No, no, they were the villagers, was, just straight up. The and, rest of the villagers that were that didn't turn. Yeah, they were just like fuck this noise, and then Ozaki is like questioning himself. He's like. This is stupid. Like nothing happened. We still ended up losing, and now the village is like going to shit. Um, because like half start- the village burned down, or like almost the whole thing, right? And yeah, because of of what's her name and um, oh, because of the uh, it- the special episode, the the lady who lost yeah. her kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She arsoned yeah. everything. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah, and then it, you know, the the after credit scene. I didn't Someone's got to explain the the suitcase in the back seat thing to me cuz I didn't catch on to what that was. But I What do you liked... mean? I, well, it was a suitcase in the back seat. What are you talking about? So when, like when when uh Sunako was in the suitcase when when Tamaki told the monk to to ha- to Yeah, no, to I know escape. that. He, and he escaped to the shrine and then they attacked the shrine people. The villagers yeah, attacked them and then but, they escaped into the Sonico, forest. But Sonako was in the suitcase. Yeah, and then she, then she came out of the suitcase and the big butcher yeah. guy came after her and then and then he saved her. 
and then they were like talking and during in the middle of the fire but i was like wait wouldn't they suffocate never mind they're shiki they don't have to breathe so it's <laughs> that's not a plot hole technically um i was thinking of that for a second but so like no they were just trying to escape so sunako them. and and um the the novelist were they basically escaped though they lived right yeah yeah i'm yeah. not wrong on that i didn't like miss a frame yeah. <laughs> no, no 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 um the monk the monk became um, a jury, which is uh, a day like Yeah, because vampire. because she turned him into one. Yeah. You mean like she- Twilight? Sure, let's go with Twilight. Oh, God. Nah, Shiki's ten times better than Twilight. Let's be serious. Vampire Diaries. <laughs> <laughs> um, vampire Diaries is pretty good. I, I enjoyed, enjoyed it. Vampire Diaries was the OG before Twilight. Anyway... Um, even though maybe wasn't, I don't fucking know. No, I, I, I mean, overall, it wasn't terrible. But there's I just think, so many better ways to spend your time. I th- <laughs> yeah, Quoka, I can never get everything. that day back. Quoka, Quoka the anime snob yeah, two point oh. <laughs> to be fair, Quoka doesn't like anything. Um, and to be fair, Sam likes only slightly more than nothing. <laughs> you could be watching Terrace House instead. That's not true. Danny I likes more like... than both of them, but what she does like is all sports and yaoi. Well, here's I'm the thing, Nick. Sure. I don't, I don't I'm watch just... only troll shows. I'm just like... generalizing. <laughs> oh, my oiga is the greatest. I'm trying show to ever, trigger like... you guys. Yeah. Oh, look, my oiga, another village anime. Coincidence? No. Mm. So that's why you chose this one, so you could just ruin is our everybody lives uh, watching Nightmare Before Christmas for their Halloween season? No, I watch that during Christmas time. Watch Halloween before Christmas for Christmas. Dude, what are some good? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna watch like Halloween, the movie, the old one. You should. It's good. Anyway, I rated it a four and a half out of ten because I. Didn't four and a like half it. out of ten, or out of five. Out of I gave ten. It a three. <laughs> why would you make you think you gave it nine out of ten? I don't know. Why not? Fuck it. I gave it a three. Out of five. A three out of ten. Wait, what? Three what out of ten though? What kind of objects? The what do you mean? Point. I give it f- the, the score, the points. No, no, no. But score. what? What is it like? Three pumpkins out of ten, or or what? I like, give it four and a half gallons. It of... doesn't deserve pumpkins. It doesn't deserve. <laughs> it doesn't deserve any sort of Halloween festive. Yo, son, enjoyment. these are triscuits. Look, I'm gonna balance it out. To to balance it out, I'm giving it seven. Uh, Tomio Okawa beards out of ten. Seven beards. There you go. I give it four and a Double half. Double Danny's of them, score. Four and a half of them creepy eyeballs out of ten of those creepy eyeballs. There you go. Quoka gives it, gets, it a negative. It 20. gets three. <laughs> it gets three dog doggy bags, like dog shit bags. Dog shit. On fire. <laughs> there wasn't on, any doggy on bags on in the show, step. Danny. Four Try bags to keep it on, top on your doorstep. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, it's funny. How about three like how about three like charred uh villagers out of ten? Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, it still it still gets the dog shit bags. God, that's hilarious. Charred villagers. What wait, what did Quoka give it? I don't know. Four or five seems reasonable. Don't be nice. No, that's fine. No, I mean, that's how. <laughs> Don't that's... be nice. Don't be nice. I, I'm in this new you internet think age it. where it's like everything has to be above average, <laughs> even when it's <laughs> five is not above average. Though. You need to give it a yeah, seven that's point how bad three to be above average on mail. No, but anyway, um, yeah. So you know, I it, one of us had the right opinion, and uh, three of us were wrong. <laughs> you decide who. Uh, audience, we'll make a little another listener poll. No, maybe. we're not going to make no, any more won't. polls because everyone <laughs> no, just everyone just votes for you because they're like, hey, they also voted for are me. Funny, huh? They also voted for me. Kaka poo poo pee pee. Who I'm wasn't still, who voted for me before I'm, they even heard the episode? That's that's dedication Trevor, right there. The Queen dedication. Nick Junior. Trevor. Yeah, there you go. I'm still kind of low key upset that no one voted for mine. I would have voted for, but I'm not that, supposed to vote. That was so shocking that nobody voted for yours. No, it's because nobody you could, no, you posted it on on Twitter. No one saw the poll, so like not enough people voted. Look, we there, there's people there was in the still Discord. a good like dozen. I or posted so. it in the announcements on Discord. Well, you gotta do it twice. I don't know. There was at least a <laughs> dozen votes or something. 
I was surprised that mine got as many as it did. And then Danny's got none. That was shocking. <laughs> All right. So anyway, there you go. Look, That's I vote key. for Danny's. If we can't pick our own, I'm voting for Danny's. There. You got one. You're at about 7%, Danny. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I, want wow. gar- I want Garlic Girls, the anime. Garlic no, it was Sliding Thunder. Know. That's why I'm voting for it. I yeah, know. but Garlic Girls but, are, in, are but in once, it too. But once the studio picks it up, they're going to change everything. That's yeah. true. They're going to buy the rights and change license. everything. We're going to buy your <laughs> show, yep. except change it to be not your My show. My cute little <laughs> sister can't possibly curl this well. I don't know. Um, okay, anyway, that was Shiki. If you guys... I really... Normally, by the end of these, I'm like, hey, you guys should watch it. I just... Dude, it's not my fault I you don't like anything, Sam. It. Jesus it's Christ. Just too long. I, to even I enjoyed Cheeky. It. it was good. Yeah. Great soundtrack, great story. Characters that were that were hateable enough, and a lot of them died. So it's, it's really it's funny because Nick is actually the person who doesn't like anything. With no, I like more it. stuff than all you guys. I just rate things correctly. That's because you've seen more stuff than all of us, too. So yeah, it's and I am I am a Galaxy Brain. Because you have no standards. At all times. I'm galaxy Brain. Get on my okay, level. Okay. I'm on that bombshell. Uh, I've been Sam, Danny, Nick, and Kuga, and we've been the Anime Summit Podcast. Kuga and Korea. Why would somebody be scared of